Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. I am trying to make a series on Angular JS. So, if you're not subscribed yet, then please subscribe my channel for new tutorials. In my videos, you can see basic examples using Angular JS properties. In my last video, I showed an example on basic Angular JS filter. In this video, I am going to show you how to use search filter for searching any raw data from html table here i will give three examples on search filter so let's begin let's create a new project select asp.net web application empty first i'm going to download angular script from their official website so go to browser type angular js select download angular js uncompressed download Okay. Let's add that Angular script in our project. Okay. Let's take an HTML page. Style page. and a javascript file drag and drop angular script here my app where module my module controller my controller function okay take a scope here i'm going to take a teachers list so say teachers first name sakib last name son date of birth new date chain zero and salary four thousand okay Rajiv in her April 24 say 192 salary 8,000 March 11 8, 9 salary say 5,000 Okay, go to HTML page, ng app, which is my module, taking a controller div, ng controller, 
the controller name is my controller first i am going to load this teachers list in html table so teacher table t head table row th first name last name date of birth and salary last name b salary g body gr here I am declaring the loop. So in the repeat teacher in teachers and TD teacher dot first name. Last name DOB and salary. Here I'm writing some CSS for my HTML table border columns, columns and for TH and TD. Border solid add script here, drag and drop angular script my JS script. Okay, let's see on browser. now i will apply search filter on this table so open project here i want to see the date format will be let's take an input text field so input type text placeholder search text in the model search text okay write some break according to this text field I want to filter our table data. So what I have to do is write here five character filter on this search text. Okay, it will date. Let's see on browser. After refreshing this page, we will get this output. Now let's type Tajib. Okay, it's working. Let's type 5000. It's working. Sinha. Okay. So by default, it works. We no need to type any extra code for filter search in a scripting part. Okay. So by default, this search field is worse for all columns. So by so if I want to 
if i want to do this search filter only for individual column like last name then i have to type here last name let's see the output refresh now if i type talib it's not working if i type khan working if i type 8000 not working hope understand if we want to filter data by matching exact given text then we have to do uh, let's take a checkbox here say type checkbox match exact text okay so in the model exact text and add here in filter after clone okay remove this part now go to browser refresh sakib now at this moment i am gonna check this checkbox type sakib let's type last name sinha so it's working now my target is to take a single text box and want to do search filter on two feature properties so i'm going to remove this part search first name or last name go to script part let's uh, write a method here in scope scope search teacher shown teacher if scope dot text search equal undefined then it will return true else if teacher dot first name uh, say in lower case index of scope dot search text in lower case not equal minus one means match found or for last name okay if match found in first name or last name then it will return true otherwise return false now i am gonna apply this method in html part search teacher let's go to browser and refresh it type tajib tajib is working if i type khan is working if i type 8000 not working 
because this filter is only works for first name and last name thanks for watching if you like this video then please comment and share and subscribe my channel for next tutorial thank you